Hey there, welcome to another marriage replenishment message from The Color of Marriage. James 1.19 reminds us, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. This wisdom holds particularly true within the sacred bond of marriage. Anger, while a natural response to perceived injustice or unfairness, can often cloud our judgment and harm our relationships. The power of anger is immense, but it can be tamed, molded into a force for positive change rather than destructive conflict. Anger is often a signal, like a check engine light, indicating that something within us needs attention. It's crucial to identify what's triggering this anger, whether it's a sense of unfair treatment, perceived injustice, or threats to our safety. Once identified, take a step back. Breathe. Allow your mind to clear from the rush of chemicals anger brings, then, resolve the issue in a healthy manner. Remember, Ephesians 4 31, 32 instructs us to, put away all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander along with all malice. Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. The book of Colossians 3, 8 advises us, but now you must put them all away, anger, wrath, malice, slander and obscene talk from your mouth. This wisdom leads us to the understanding that anger is a choice. It's like a check engine light in a car. When it comes on, you need to find the cause and fix it. To control anger, you must be intentional. Ephesians 4.26 encourages us to be angry and do not sin. This implies that anger, a secondary emotion, can be managed. When you find yourself angry take a moment, breathe. Then identify what caused your anger. Resolve it in a healthy way, diffusing the anger much like that check engine light. Controlling anger also means accepting that you won't always get your way. Philippians 2, 3, urges us to value others above ourselves. This humility helps diffuse anger, especially within the context of marriage. Ask yourself this question. Are you controlling your anger, or is your anger controlling you? Remember Proverbs 29, 23. A man's pride will bring him low, but a humble spirit will obtain honor. Be humble enough to share your heart, not your anger, when you're offended. Keep this in mind and watch the transformation unfold. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this. Also, if you agree with this message and feel others should hear it, please share and like it.